Was there anything in terms of the different coaches that you had that they would have a theme throughout the entire day of training? Different managers was so different, um, you know, through the course of my career, you know, in, in the early days and the later days, obviously there was so much more um, staff in the later days designated for, for each individual thing. Um, and it became... You know, everyone sort of had a piece of you, if you know what I mean. But um, I'll probably touch on Rafa and Rafa's regime just because it was so methodical what he did, um, even to the minute. I mean, it was like, say the session would be an hour 20 in his mind, he would time it from the warm-up and it would not go over or under that one minute 20. And it, for me, obviously, coming from Harry Redknapp at Southampton to, to then being in Liverpool... And having that, I wanted to do like stuff after training. Like quite often, I'd want to do extra finishing. Um, like I used to really enjoy doing that, and I'd work on specific things that I need to work on, and then I'd probably usually have a bit of fun at the end and have a bet with the lads and who could score the most goals, and we'd we'd have a few quid on it or a bottle of wine, and then um, you know that was good good fun. But like Raffle was like, no, that's the session finished. And even if you hadn't played on the Saturday, and you wanted to do extras, he'd be like, no. You know, this Rafa is... wouldn't let you do extra practice. If no, you yeah, that's interesting. But I feel like it? it's why. A... Why was that? Do you think? I think it's just it's it, everything is he needs to be in control of absolutely everything, and, and ultimately that was the, the downfall of him. You know, he wanted control of the transfers and the you know very much like Alex Ferguson. I think he saw himself that was where, the way he was going at Liverpool. He wanted to control absolutely everything, and I think that was you know possibly one of the reasons why it, it just didn't work at the end. But don't you find that restricting as a player? You know, you hear all these stories about the players that used to be in training for longer and would be Beck's outside doing free kicks mm. and that's what made him different. Ronaldo, the same. Is, is that type of structure, maybe it's healthier because it keeps everyone from feeling that they do have to do that extra stuff, maybe. But, but is the flip side of that that you're being a bit restricted then yeah, to do yeah. the extra that could make you extra special from other players. Well, this, this, is, this was my thing. I, I still, still felt that I was learning the game. I think I signed there at like 24. I was still, there's still lots of things to improve on. Um, and he was very much about the team shape and the team dynamic and very, you know, a lot less so about the individual. So it wasn't really, it didn't feel like it was actually about me improving my own game it was about the team all the time like for instance like one of his sessions was um it was like a warm-up and we'd do this thing where we'd all be in a team shape and um we'd there'd be various cones set out in the formation that we were the team we were going to play on the weekend and there would be no ball whatsoever and Rafa would shout left back and we'd all have to funnel over without a ball and be in, in the positions that we should be in if the left back got the ball it was like central midfielder. We'd all have to come back and we'd all be in positions if he got the ball, if he got the ball. And we'd all be moving as as a unit. And it was one of the most boring sessions <laughs> I've, ever, I've ever been a part of. But I got it, you know. like I, it, Because when the, cent, the left back or, or the centre half, left sided centre half got the ball instinctively you just knew where to be you, you, you there was what, no would you have to sprint to, so let's sprint say out. the imaginary left back has is, is been the shout or the imaginary right back would you all in all seriousness sprint. run to the well you had to it was like and if you don't go out with the intensity that you liked he would stop it and we'd, we'd keep doing it until but did we, no one it, piss around how did no one piss around in no, that we, so of... we'd also say like so there was all the whole squad was was involved so there was 25 players and so there might be you know six midfielders but they'd all be in their specific positions so the whole team even the subs as well would have to move as one over so say it just the... sounds like what's the time Mr Wolf or... exactly right <laughs> <laughs> Premier League players doing what's the time Mr Wolf first thing in the morning exactly right and we'd we'd go over and as we'd go over to so say the centre half got it I would be the one who was most intense and then obviously the centre halves obviously would would come up, but with, with not the same sort of intensity. But because I'm close to the ball, to potentially try and win it. And then you know the the the, the, uh, the say the left winger, for instance, would 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 tuck in and be be close to me, you know, inviting it to go to the fullback. And then we'd go and close down, and you'd show sort of back inside or or outside, whichever way he wanted us to show 
them to sort of play. And um, it was, yeah, like I say, it was monotonous, but I can't say it didn't, it didn't work. Because if you were two yards outside of where you, he wanted you to be, he would tell you, we'd rein it in and you'd do it and you'd all know your jobs. Let's talk about specifics. Rafa Benitez, 2007. I'm just going to bring you Crouchy. Second leg of the Champions League against Chelsea, semi-final, 1-0 down. Mm. What was training like in the build-up to that game? We'd have a Makaleli cone, a Lampard cone, and an Obi Mikel cone. Um, and we'd, we'd, we'd but does be... he put the cones down in front of you? Does he do, like, imagining, like, my old Sunday league guy, he's putting the four cones down, he's like, Lampard, Makaleli, like... Exactly right, yeah. Um, and, <laughs> and but also we'd have we'd have you know maybe the reserves would come over, and they would have them play exactly like you know the centre forward for the for the youth team would be Drogba. Would they be uh, in little badges or was it just? Yeah, your... they'd have their bibs on. Or did you match them up by how they look? <laughs> like... <laughs> 